Hello, I'm Tom Wright. Welcome to N.T. Wright Online. Let me invite you to study Paul's letter to the Colossians with me. Colossians is one of the smallest of Paul's epistles, but it's packed with amazing treasures about who Jesus really is and about how to live wisely in a world that is often hostile to his way. Paul is in prison as he writes this letter. He's aware that embracing the way of Jesus may involve suffering, but he insists that this somehow becomes part of the means by which the message of Jesus the King can extend throughout the world. In this epistle, we are immediately greeted in chapter 1 with a beautiful poetic expression of who Jesus is. The poetic nature is often missed in our English translations, but I'll try to explain the text in some detail so we can glimpse something of its beauty and wonder. We also find important admonitions about avoiding some of the traps that the Colossians faced when, after embracing Christ as king, they found themselves pulled towards the surrounding Jewish synagogue communities. Because for many converts from a pagan background, that life governed by the Jewish law had its own attractions. But Paul urges his readers to embrace all the fullness of Christ's message. He is Israel's Messiah. Having him, they already have all they need. And with that, they have freedom. The freedom is not, however, without guidance. The Christian has an obligation to live in ways that shun the way of the flesh. And Paul urges Christian believers to live ordered, godly lives, as fitting for those set apart for God. Christian liberty, after all, is not a license to sin. Freedom and godly obligation are proper companions in Paul's thought, and we will explore these as we walk through the text together. So please join us along with hundreds of other students who will be studying this letter along with you. Don't let the short length of this letter fool you. It is full of transforming messages for those who are prepared to hear. This letter to Colossae was written long ago to a church in a city that no longer exists. The city is in ruins to this day, covered up with the earth of centuries. But Paul's message is powerful for us right now as we seek to live in the fullness of Christ's love and in obedience to his ways. I look forward to having you in the course. Mm -hmm.